And some of the Mufassirin say it also means there was no noise. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why the no noise? What was happening in the household of Khadija? How many people were in that household? Let's count. You have, we talked about Khadija, you have her own family, because Khadija was twice married and twice widowed before the Prophet Muhammad She had her own children. And at that point in time, at least Hind was there. Okay, who else? When the Prophet gets married to Khadija, he also brings some people along. Who does he bring? Ali ibn Abi Talib. Who else? Baraka, yes. Who else? Zayd ibn Haritha. MashaAllah, the adopted, if you will, son of the Prophet ﷺ. In fact, that's what he was called. He was called Zayd ibn Muhammad for the longest time, right? Until the verse came down and explained that adoption is different in Islam. And then you have all the children who Khadija is going to bear for the Prophet ﷺ. And how many were they? Huh? There were six in total. Two of the sons, of course, as we know, died in infancy. Four daughters. How many people are in that household? Allah, someone said a lot. <laughs> there were a lot of people in the household. A lot of young people in that household. And so when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says to her, you are promised no noise. <laughs> we know what he's talking about. Subhanallah. But all these people, people always talk about today, we talk about blended families. You want to see a blended family that's living so beautifully. You have step people, you have fostered people, you have adopted people, you have biological people, you have all kinds of blending happening in this family. And it is said it was the most peaceful and happy home in all of Mecca. Really something to study, truly, and to learn about family dynamics.